Hi there, I'm John from Race Brakes and welcome to Braking 101. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about brake hoses. When you put your foot on the pedal, the master cylinder sends a lot of pressure down there, 1500 psi in some cases. It goes down the hard line in the chassis and to get from the chassis through to the caliper you need a brake hose because of the suspension movement, wheels going round, suspension going up and down. So how do we do that? It's used by a brake hose. Most brake hoses are made of rubber. And in front of me here I have three brake hoses. One, two and three. This is a new rubber brake hose which is fitted to most standard cars. But even that you can see there is a wee bit of stretch in it. When you put your foot on the brakes as I said before at 1500 psi you get what they call volumetric displacement. In other words that 1500 is forcing that rubber wham 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 every time you put the foot on the brakes. Net result is you're getting a sinking pedal, maybe even a spongy pedal. So what do you do when you go to race cars? You use a braided steel line. This is a braided steel line. It's a Goodridge line. We're able to make them here in Auckland and they're certified for land transport use if your car was road registered. So here we have as a braided steel brake line, such as you use in race cars. If you didn't use it and you had a rubber line, you could have this disastrous take on this one. You see the bubble is appearing on the rubber hose? Disastrous. You don't want to use that on the road and you certainly don't want to use it on the track. So going back to race cars in summary, exotic cars use, a, use braided steel lines. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Aston Martins. Why? Because of a better pedal feel. Race cars use braided steel lines. Why? Because of a pedal feel. Let us know at Race Brakes if we can help you. 0800 Brakes. Cheers.